In this video, I will provide you with five of the biggest mistakes a novice or do-it-yourself builder makes when building a deck. And first on the list will be improper ledger board attachment. And this usually happens when you're attaching the ledger over the house's siding or stucco and using the wrong fasteners like nails or interior grade screws or failing to use the proper flashing. And another one of those things will be water that gets trapped between the ledger and the house, causing the wood ledger to rot along with the improper fasteners to corrode. And this could lead to the deck separating from the building and collapsing. Next up on the list, and one that I do have to verify, I have seen this, and that will be undersized footings that would result in you not digging the footing holes deep enough. And in some cases, you're going to have to go below the frost line or making them too small for the load they need to support. And again, this is another big problem. Next up on the list, skipping permits or ignoring codes. And of course, this mistake is often the assumption that the deck is a simple project that doesn't need a permit. And of course, this could lead to improper joist spacing, hand railing heights, and stair safety problems. And of course, if you don't get the building permits, you might be fined or forced to tear down the deck or end up with a major liability for your home if someone ever gets hurt. And next up, and another biggie, we'll be using the wrong hardware and materials. Let's not forget that the deck is going to be an exterior home building project and that it is going to require outdoor building materials like galvanized metal and treated lumber. And don't get me wrong, I've seen plenty of decks that were built where the beams are just sitting on top of the posts with no hardware and held together with a couple of nails. And I've seen wood posts buried in the soil without any footings. That lasted for decades, and I'm not about to suggest that yours won't last also. But what if it doesn't? And of course, poor water and air management. Let's not forget water is the enemy of a wood or metal deck. So if you build a low to ground deck without planning for airflow underneath, or not spacing your deck boards correctly for drainage, or building the deck without enough slope if needed, or ground slope to where you're going to have the water draining away from the deck and the house whenever possible. I mean, if you really want to shorten up the lifespan of a wood deck, make sure that you have plenty of spots for water to get trapped and linger for long periods of time. And thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by hitting the thumbs up button or letting us know in the comment area.